am Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Today the question is, and we get this question all the time, what are antique pianos worth? So many times people call up and they say, hey, I've got this old piano. It seems to have a harp inside. It's got ivory. This thing's got to be worth a lot. And the first question you ask isn't what's the brand or the size or the finish. No, it's what is the condition? Condition is everything with pianos. You'd think that a piano that dates back a hundred years or more would have some natural antique value. You hear about this. You watch antique road show and other shows out there that, and they find these little treasures and you go, oh my gosh, it's worth so much. Not so much with pianos. Now, there are some exceptions. What are the, let's talk, get the exceptions out of the way first. If, for example, you had one of the very first Steinway pianos ever made, or maybe even another manufacturer, one that's truly historical in its significance. For example, if maybe uh, Chickering only made half a dozen of a certain model and you had one of the last remaining ones made in the 1860s, you know, there could be some antique value. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'd say maybe one out of 10,000 pianos might fit into that criteria. It's a rare thing to have true antique value. Another example might be a piano that was played by a famous person. That's a whole other area. And as a matter of fact, for appraisals, you have to find the right appraiser who can take that into account because it's really hard to assess value based upon its lineage. So other than that, what other things are there to look for? Well, I mentioned condition. There are certain brands that are going to have more stature than others. Naturally, Steinway is the most well-known brand of any piano, so st older Steinways can retain value even when they need rebuilding. There's a market for them because used Steinways can command much more money than other pianos just because everybody knows the name. But still, condition is so important because the cost of rebuilding a piano, if you had a piano like this, for example, that had been neglected, maybe it had been in uh, a beach home and got rusted out, played a lot, worn out, you could easily spend $20,000, $30,000 restoring it. So you gotta ask, well, what's the piano worth after restoration? And if the answer is less than you know, the work you're gonna put into it, you've got a negative net worth, which obviously is no value. So that's the long and short of it. There really isn't antique value in pianos generally, with the exceptions I articulated at the beginning of something truly rare, something that's only a handful were ever made from a respected manufacturer. Otherwise, sadly, there's a lot of old pianos out there that go begging, and we do our best here at Living Pianos to provide a new life for some of the magnificent instruments from years past. Thanks for joining me. Again, Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com, your online piano store.